Greetings and salutations. My name is Zinovard, and today we're going to be taking a look at Click to Sail. It is a roguelike auto battler pirate management sim. Uh, we play as a crew of pirates. We have been exiled from England for thievery and treason. The main mechanic of the game involves around managing your gold. That is pretty much like the main interaction. Uh, we basically sail from node to node, and we get in random battles, get into random events, things like that. Random things happen while we're sitting here. <laughs> Splice the man brace, he says, you raised the first of many bottles of rum. Then this night we sleep with the Lady of the Sea. I think they got some healing done? I've actually never seen that happen. I didn't know we could wait on the screen and have anything actually happen. Uh, options wise there's not really much there's uh sound and music volume uh, that's about it fortunately the hotkeys are not rebindable i kind of wish they were and there's no start screen to speak of uh we can go ahead and we'll, we'll reset the game from the start and we can see the little opening uh intro come back to england no more words still echo in your head last said by the queen herself as you got exiled for treason and thievery Little did the queen know that you already had it coming. With the help of your trusty peers, getting back control of your own ship was just a matter of will. You are now bound to roam the seas in search of a new home. Old salt I am, you say confident, knowing that many dangers await you. Way anger, you shout. You're crusty. You're crusty true. <laughs> uh, Alright, so yeah, that, that's the start of the game. Uh, we can't really control where we go. There are items that you can get, like a map that will actually like let you kind of pick what things you come across. Uh, we can see our crew here from this screen. We have the captain, a uh, pistolier, a brawler. There's a bunch of different like units you can get. You can get like units that don't have jobs that you can uh, randomly upgrade into a job later. Uh, there are like cannoneers and powder monkeys and all sorts of different things uh, like that. And then we, I don't think we have access to it. Oh, we do. Um, you get like different items in battle. They're like little cards you kind of collect. I don't really, I wouldn't really call this like a deck builder per se. It's more like items that you collect. They just so happen to be in a card format. Uh, and then you can possibly get passive items. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just click to sail. As the name of the game implies. To sticky matey, you hear multiple crew complaining as you turn to see multiple slimes engulfing your crew. Prepare to fight. So it is not about it, it is completely hands off. Um, we do have access to items later when we get them, I'll use them. But uh, you can use like I've said, damage enemies, uh, heal your crew a little bit, increase your attack buff, and they're like kind of an AoE effect. They have like a very large radius, it's almost like a quarter to maybe even half the screen. Uh, but it is, it's not everything. But yeah, uh, I would like to see a speed up option here. It's rather slow uh, at times, like just, you know, maybe like uh, a two times and a four times speed would probably pre be like more than enough. Victory after hard earned battle, you look around and see if everyone's okay. Aye aye, Captain, the crewmate chants in harmony. I've defeated three enemies, the crew's intact. Way anchor. This can probably all, like, I don't understand why this goes, uh, like, line by line. It could probably be sped up. And I imagine there is. It's currently in early access. The developer is working on the game. I believe it's a solo developer. You shuffle through the gold, you looted. No prey, no pay, you earned 15 experience. Ah, uh, get 120 gold as well. Very good, got a couple level ups. Let's go ahead and check the crew. Uh, so level two, level two, level two. So every, I think it's, I'm not entirely sure, but I think like every other event we kind of run into like a random event like this, man overboard, scream sailor at the top of his lungs. You rapidly go to see what it's about. A living man holding onto a floating barrel arrives at your ship. Welcome to the crew, you say with confidence. Hey, we just got a, a jobless man. Nice. Captain, welcome to the shopkeeper. He yells from the back of the store as he walks towards you with bow and gesture. Please, please, look around. Anything that catches your eyes? So, the only other game that this kind of really reminds me of is Oregon Trail. And the fact that my crewmates seem to die of the equivalent of a dysentery. 
all the time. So there's random events like you're like as you just saw, we got a a random jobless man who float was floating in the sea. Sometimes our crew will fall overboard and get injured. Sometimes they'll get sick at sea. It it's they might come down with scurvy, random different things like that. So here is the shop and uh we have the option to buy different supplies um we can get a crewmate which would probably be pretty good i'm not gonna go with the pistolier i might go with a jobless just because getting uh we can have eight crew in total and then we can have eight crew that are active in total and i think we can have 16. Um, I haven't gotten above 8 yet, but I believe that some of them stay down in the, the ship's hold. Um, got some medics case. Uh, healing is very limited in this game, so I might take the medics case as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy the jobless. Uh, I think we can double click these, yeah. And then maybe buy the bread as well. It's not much healing. I'm not entirely certain what energy does, to be honest. It's not entirely clear. Um, or we could get this cannon which deals uh, damage to all enemies, deals 15% enemy slow and 100 damage to them, which is pretty good, but probably want to keep our gold a little high just because things are quite expensive, and there's another, there's another shop that we can run into which sells us like one of two passive items which are like very hard to come across, and they're very expensive, so I think we're going to save our gold for if we run into that. That is why, again, this is very much the mechanic of the game is managing your gold um, and managing your crew. So let's go ahead and go back to the ship. Might have wanted to buy the bread there, so we can go ahead and see our items here. They'll, we'll see it when it comes to it. I was going to say, they'll, they'll show in this corner when we're in a battle. Turned on his back, you see a tall green figure hisses coming from it. Uh, a vast D scream in its direction. The lizard reveals itself, pure anger, and charges your crew. Prepare to fight. Uh, so yeah, you see the cards down here. Uh, we can, I believe we can click on them and then click it down. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to use that. And then you can also use the hotkeys as well. I'm not going to worry about the hotkeys for now though. Um, I will say uh, that our units are the brightest when it comes to battles. <laughs> Uh, the AI might need, like, a little bit of more instruction. They're, they're not the smartest. They'll kind of, like, block each other off and things like that. When they, when they get below a certain threshold of health, they will, uh, like, back away from the fight. But they don't really do it all that intelligently. They kind of just wander off and they'll often get themselves stuck and killed anyway. Um... Unfortunately, can't do much about this crew unless we can just wait and he'll randomly heal himself. I, I've never seen that before, but it happened at the very beginning of this video, so maybe it'll happen again. Uh, go ahead and check out. Both of our jobless are still, uh, unfortunately, jobless. We would like one of them to pick up a job. It happens randomly. It can happen anytime we're sailing, essentially. There'll be an event. Place the man brace, you say he's raised the first of many bottles of rum. The night we sleep with the lady of the sea. Oh, got a medical case? Very good. Very good. Captain, welcome to the ship. Welcome to the ship. Welcome to the shopkeeper. It's, it's the same dialogue every time. Um, so we can get uh, this training equipment. This will take one of our sailors out as a useless job uh, and give him a random job. So I think we're going to take that. Um, I might take this other jobless as well. Although I do kind of want to keep my gold above like the 150 mark. That's when we run into the other shop. That kind of is fairly important. We don't have to worry about like food or rations or anything like that. It doesn't seem like our, our crew is starved to death. I'm not sure. If they do, it's not apparent. Like that might be what the energy stands for. But I haven't seen anywhere... I, I mean, I'll check in a second when we get back to the ship if maybe that's something I glossed over, but I haven't I haven't particularly noticed it. Um, I am very much debating getting this jobless though. I think we'll leave it at that. We'll head back to the ship. Again, maybe should have picked up the, the bread, but I'm not too, too concerned about the wrong button. The crew. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't see anything that like denotes what energy would be used for. 
so I'm not sure. Yeah, and then we can have crew in the cabin as, as well. And we're currently six of eight. Okay, so I, for some reason, thought this would be all of our crew. So this is only six. That would be like eight, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six extra. We can have a total of, what, 14? Math. <laughs> um, uh, let's see items. Let's go ahead and use this. Let our crew gets a random job. Fight breaks in the ship. Amusing to you, you let it happen. One of the stars swings left and right like a bolt. Quickly knocks unconscious the other crewmen, a natural born fighter. So we got another brawler and we got a captain sword out of it too. Usually when your crewmates level up, you'll also get an item associated with that level up. We got another brawler, another frontliner. Very good to have. Uh, you can get like healing units. I believe the powder monkey is a healing unit. Uh, I've only gotten one of them. It doesn't seem to be very common. I think the... I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to me like the crew's jobs are kind of like weighted to be like brawlers and pistoliers and then other random things are like a little bit rarer. But it might also be dictated by like how far into the game we are. Not entirely certain there. Sticky matey, you hear multiple crew complaining. As you turn around, you run to see multiple slimes engulfing your crew. Prepare to fight. So we might want to use this allies attack speed here. Although it's only three slimes, they're not they're not too bad. I'd say that as this brawler is getting absolutely demolished. He should run away on his own though. The jobless are <laughs> we'll, we'll take up his space in a second. Ah, but it's not too bad. I think we're okay. But yeah, I definitely would like to see a speed up option here. And maybe our AI being a little bit uh, smarter in the long run. Although this game, uh, I guess because it's being on camera, it is being a little bit better than it has been in my experience. You shuffle through the gold, you loot it. No prey, no pay. 120 gold, very good. Um, so the game is actually quite difficult at times. So far we're having a pretty good start, but it does kind of, I have had the game kind of just completely either throw out battles that were impossible for me to win and I couldn't run away from at the time. Uh, I've had the very first battle that I've run into just be completely unwinnable like three times in a row, which is unfortunate. Maybe that should be something the developer like looks into. That first combat should never be like the very first thing you do. It is just death every time. Um, I didn't find that particularly great. Uh, that being said, I, I know I'm saying like little nitpicks with the game stuff. Uh, it's not because I think the game is bad, I think the game is quite good. It's little adjustments that I'm just giving my feedback on uh, ways that I could see this game improving. Because it is quite fun. The core concept of what is going on here is absolutely great. We got another natural born fighter. Nice. Our captain took a little bit of damage for some reason. I guess he was the one. <laughs> I guess our captain was the one that the shipmate was fighting. Alright. And what do we want to grab here? I don't want to spend too much. Oh, we did get the map. So I think we're going to buy that. I tempted to buy crew, but I know we're going to be running into... I'm surprised we haven't seen it yet. Usually you see it pretty often. I think it's unlocked after the third event that you do. Um, the other shopkeeper, which I'm failing to remember the name of right now. He looks like Death. Uh, map and compass allows us to actually navigate the world, so we're gonna go ahead and definitely buy that. I don't think we're gonna grab anything else. Now, this item here lets you obviously navigate the world and have choices. So we'll go back to the ship. And so that's what this is what this looks like here. And you have like a choice of where you want to go, and it'll kind of like tell you where you're going next as well. Like have a, like an idea of what's coming up after that. I would highly suggest this just be the default in the game um, rather than it randomly going somewhere and you having to like buy this item. I kind of think there's already not much interaction that you you have over the game. You don't have like a whole lot of control over what happens. This one tiny thing is uh, is much bigger than it seems because it is like an active view choice that you make to like go down a certain line of of events possibly coming up and that little choice alone is a huge thing in player agency and 
it just helps the game feel more interactive than it already is because at the moment, the real only main interaction is you have a couple of consumables you use during combat, which is okay, that's not bad, but then just making choices of whether or not you ha you like pick up crewmates or like buy those those combat items. Um, just one extra little choice like this, which actually kind of like dictates a lot of like what you're running into in the game, would go a long way, and I highly recommend that this be this be the default mode, and maybe. The map and compass, if it's still an item in the game, uh, maybe it helps you find specific events easier, like X marks the spots, like a treasure map or something like that, where you you can like f like have a little icon on these that is like a specific, like an X marks the spot, and the the map like leads you to those locations, something along those lines. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and click to sail. <laughs> we were already doing that. Let's go to the beach. Why not? Place the mound brace. So most of these are just repeats. We did get a little heal there. Walk along the beach, you feel a tremor in the ground. A group of sandworms spurt from the ground. Fight them all. What we're going to do. Ow. Oh, that's not good. They, and we're all clumping up to... Uh, oop, that's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And we might even... Eh, I was thinking about healing. Very close to losing this guy. So unfortunately, we still have not... This job list still has not gotten a job. Although we have... We, we now have three brawlers. Yeah, this job list is still... I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Like it. So I've I've gone through this game like... I played for about an hour, so I've run through multiple different scenarios, and usually my job was after like two or three, like at the maximum like two events would level up. This guy's been with us for a little while. So Cardmancer, this is this is the other guy that I was talking about. So we're definitely going to the Cardmancer. I think we'll go this middle route because then it'll be Cardmancer, open seas, and then a shop. Oh, we do have a good amount of gold. Is a mutiny. Oh no. That's not good. Sailors screaming everywhere on the ship. Multiple flights ensure. Although a mutiny, the captain seems unaffected, but the crew gets punishment instead. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what do I guys just die in the mutiny? That's not good. That's not good at all. Um Entering the mysterious hut, a shadowy figure stands tall and approaches you very fast, grabbing your hands. Before you can say anything, you can feel the cold, hard touch of bony fingers and its pale face. Pick a card, it says. Aye, aye, you say back, terrified. Actually, just aye. Um, so we have a choice of a pointy harpoon. Clicking an ally speeds it for a small amount of time. Clicking an enemy slows it. I used this before, and it evolves throughout the game. I used this before. They're... Well, we're using it again. Oh no. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know what I expected. I did click it. Fair enough. There would probably be a buy option there. I was trying to like inspect it further. I don't know what this spatula does. So anyway, let's go back to this harpoon to finish my thought. Um, there's no real feedback to say that this is working. Like I'm just randomly clicking on my units or the enemy units, and I'm no visual feedback or audio feedback um, came to me <laughs> when I was using it. So that might be something to to kind of look into. Uh, and our crew is very banged up, and we lost the jobless. Um, I might use this here <laughs> because our crew is kind of real in real bad shape. Try to get everybody. Of course, one guy walked out at the last second. Um, I'm not going to use the other one. That should be fine. Hopefully, this brawler man will survive. Forest, ocean, jungle. I think we'll go into the ocean, and then we'll get another option of a, a shop for this. Fish aboard, you hear sailor screaming. Five pirates. Five pirate fishes stand in all in the back of the deck. Before you could give any orders, one of your crewmen starts walking towards them. I'll go with them, they want me. I'll become like them, he says, in an almost hypnotic way. Will you let your sailor go with them? 
I mean, I've run into this event before. It is a very difficult battle. Um, I've chosen no every single time. I've never let one go. But I also don't feel like we're strong enough to realistically take it. Um, so I'm going to say yes here. <laughs> uh, who went? He's gone now, man. You say with a sad tone in your voice. The sailor seems to be willing, as so as we thought it was a good choice. I mean, it seemed I'm pretty sure he was tempted. Uh, well, our pistolier is gone. <laughs> so now we just got a bunch of burly, burly men and the captain. Uh, no range fighters to speak of. We'll go to the shop. Hopefully we can pick up some crew. The other thing about picking up crew, like, randomly, especially, like, this late into the run, um, is they start at level 1. Like, all, all new crew starts at, at low levels. Uh, oh, we got a powder monkey here, but we are just shy of being able to afford it. Uh, I would also like to be able to sell stuff, because I have, like, a few... We could re-roll, I mean, um, the item. Because I have, like... So, oh, we can sell. I, I immediately take my words back. We're gonna sell that. I think that's enough for us to buy the powder crew. Hopefully. Yes. Can indeed. Uh, what is this? Ship name change. <laughs> Use this card to assign a new name ship where it'll be chosen randomly. I mean, okay, that's interesting, but <laughs> definitely not worth the gold. I mean, that's a bit of a noob trap. I mean, it's funny that it's in the game, but that could, should kind of be a default. Uh, Spyglass rerolls the positions of units randomly around the map. Use it only at the beginning of the fight. I'm, I haven't used it yet. It seems like it might be not great. I don't know. It might be awesome. Who knows? So I'm thinking we get the Powder Monkey here. He's a healer. Very fragile though. But yeah, let's get the Powder Monkey. Go back to our ship. We have no gold now. <laughs> so we might be totally boned. But we'll find out. Uh, kind of want to sit on this screen for a little bit to see if he heals. I don't think it's going to happen, though. But our power monkey could heal. Um, we can go to the mountains. I don't know how we get our ship into the mountains. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever actually gone to the mountains yet. We have a lot, long line of mountains, though. Let's get another shop. I don't think we're going to go that way. I'm actually going to go to the jungle. Set up the mountains. As you venture through the jungle, you seem to have walked into unholy places. Monsters and witches approach your crew. Prepare to fight. Uh, this is looking real bad. <laughs> this is looking not great. Uh, we might... I'm actually going to pop this healing item. Bring that, that crew up to a little bit higher. They were quite low. He is not... This guy is not looking great. Start running away, man. Start running away, please. There you go. There you go. Okay, we, we we got through in the end. Got through in the end. We need we need more medical chests for sure. Oh no, not the captain! Not the captain! You shot through. Oh, looted. No pray, no pay. Twenty eight experience. That's pretty good. That's a sizable amount of gold as well. Now I wish we went to the place that had the the shop coming up next. Although we might not have got this event. So oh, there's another card mancer. And so both the, the top and bottom rows are essentially the same. Not another mutiny, no! <laughs> oh man, come on, man. Guys, things have been going so well. Why? Why was, must you mutiny against me? Oh my god, everybody took so much damage. <laughs> Nobody died this time, fortunately. But, uh... <laughs> Stop mutinying. Last time I had all my sailors falling overboard and the time before that everybody was puking overboard. Not good. Okay, so I don't want to accidentally buy one of these things. All right. I might have accidentally double clicked it last time, to be fair. <laughs> uh, items will now affect all your units, but they're 20% weaker. Eh. Do you even have anything that's good on? No. Oh, I didn't even use this thing. My, my mistake. <laughs> I forgot we had it. Um... I'm off feeling your units will heal over time. That is very good. See you soon. I'm definitely getting that. Click to sail. Oh, so there's like a little... I'm not entirely sure what this thing does. Like a time, a pocket watch. So th this is kind of like the, the... I've seen this before. I'm not entirely certain what it means. I'm assuming that it's good to go to. 
However, um, like what I was saying before about the map, the it, like it could do something like this, but there could be like a certain like treasure item there, is whatever like X marks the spot kind of thing. Last night was a heavy drinking night. Rum and singing all night long. A little souvenir of this unforgettable night. Bottle of rum, yo ho. Let's go. Hey, yeah, a man swings a sword very loudly in the woods. Oh, we've got a little training thing. So, Captain, are you here to train? What? No, before you can say anything else, you notice you're surrounded by training dummies. I want to see some fast swinging and quick wrist work. Beat the dummies. Um. So now we're just gonna attack some dummies. Uh, what is going on down here? I guess the captain is technically hurt. <laughs> He's just running away. Powder Monkey is just, just absolutely just a little pocket healer over here. Uh, yeah, not, not gonna use that. So we have a minute to get rid of all of these things. I believe if we have any jobless with us, it, it, this automatically promotes them. We don't currently, so it's not really doing anything for us. You shuffle through your gold, you looted. We got a training equipment. A3 gold. Click to sale. Go to the shop. We desperately need item. We're doing quite well. This run is actually going surprisingly well. I say that now, it's probably all going to fall apart relatively soon. This is about when most of my runs have fallen apart. Uh, but we'll see. Like, I don't think I'm going to have the video go on too, too much longer. We're already getting close to, like, the 30-minute mark. Um, but I will go just a little bit longer. I'm also just enjoying this run. So, uh, oh, we got a bomber here. Explosives. I can deal area damage and isn't afraid of getting burned. Interesting. <laughs> Is there anything we would want to sell here? No. Looks so like is drunk. They become stronger and faster. All stats, healing, and energy. Again, I'm not really certain what energy does specifically. Uh, I mean, we could sell that and... Right? Get enough for that 17. That should be enough to buy this. Yeah. We could get the, the bomber. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Oh, we could also sell this harpoon. No, we can't. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Assumed we might be able to. Apparently, the shopkeep does not accept our card mats or items. Uh, we're good. Get the bomber. We need some more crew. I would have liked to get this bread as well, but I can't. I can't get them all. Surprised, you know, we're not dying of scurvy or anything like that. I've seen uh, oranges <laughs> available in the game. Click to sale. Oh, okay. Well, I take back everything I said about the X on thing. I mean, I still mean what I said about the map, and I think this should be a default, but eh, here we go. This is something I've not, I've not run into before. Thought you got rid of me, huh? You hear a familiar voice coming from the shore. I accidentally clicked way too fast. Oh my gosh, these guys, they do a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I don't know if that's gonna help at this point. These guys are strong. I don't know. We can't run away. Is this gonna be the death of us? Is this where it all falls apart? Maybe. Possibly. Come on, Powder Monkey. Heal them. Heal them! See, they're kind of like just hanging around and not really... Not really running away. Oh! I think some one of our guys died. At least one of them. We are getting absolutely crushed. <laughs> Yeah, this is where a little speed up would be good. I mean, we can't run away. We can't do anything here. So we are just unfortunately dead. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just died here. But yeah, this is Click to Sale. It is currently in early access. Um, so I've given a, a good amount of feedback throughout this video, but I'll kind of just sum up the, like, what I think about the game here is I enjoy the game a lot. I think it's really, like, fun. Um... Uh, it's a great concept, a very simple game. We're starting over. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go through this real quick so I don't have to look at it. Back to our screen. Um, it's a very simple concept, very basic, but I, I love games like that. I love games that are extremely simple. I love auto battlers. Um, there are not a whole ton of like great auto battlers. 
Um, so whenever I find one that I that I'm drawn to, such as this, I really want to see it do well. Um, so I personally, the game is only like three dollars, three U.S. dollars on Steam. It is absolutely worth the price of admission, for sure, hands down. Um, but yeah, like I said, there'll be a link in the description. Um, hopefully, if the developer sees this, uh, I hope he takes some of the things that I've said into account. Uh, I really would love to see this game uh, expanded upon and just more added to the game. Maybe a little bit more control to the player would be a good thing, like I said about the, the maps. I think that exploration should really be uh, d the default. But I mean, I love the art style. The pixel art looks great. Uh, everything about the game is just... is It's the kind of game that I can really find myself, even though it's so simple, sinking an insane amount of time into. And those are kind of rare. I don't run into a lot of games that are like that. The last game that it was an auto-battler that I ended up sinking a huge amount of time into that I did not expect was Astronarch. Uh, a game is also a very good auto-battler, very simple concept. Uh, but I spent up like, I don't know, 40 to 60 hours in that thing alone. It was, it was quite good. But yeah, I, I, again, greatly, greatly enjoy this game. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend you check it out on Steam. It's good. There's a link in the description below. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like down below, comment if you're into that kind of thing, and maybe if you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on my way to 100 subscribers, hoping maybe possibly long shot getting to a thousand by the end of the year. That would be great, but you can help me out with that, and I would be ever so grateful. But I appreciate your time immensely. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you. Okay, bye.